In this project, we will simulate the distillation column tray two-phase flow process. The present three-dimension model is designed using Design Modeler software. The meshing of the present model has been done using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh tab is structured. Under the general setup tab, you can see different buttons from scales to units. By clicking on the scale, under the phases tab, you can see that air and water phases have been defined. Now, in order to add a new phase, first you just have to define a new material in the material section, which will be explained in the next slide. Now, in order to define the flow regime for the software, we double click on the viscose button, and in the appeared window, you can see that we have enabled RNGK epsilon model with the use of standard wall function in order to solve for our turbulent fluid equation. Also, we have used RNG K epsilon model since it is more accurate than the standard model. If you click on the gas inlet boundary, you can see that the type of this boundary is defined to be velocity inlet. By clicking on edit, a new window will appear in which you can change the settings for this boundary. For example, in the appeared window, you can see that under the momentum tab, the velocity magnitude uh, defined for this boundary is defined to be equal to 23.35 meter per second. Also, in order to see the settings for uh, different phases of air and water, under the phases, you can select from mixture, air, and water. After double clicking on the methods button in the appeared part in the middle section of the software, you can see that the pressure velocity coupling scheme has been defined to be coupled, which means that different flow equations are solved simultaneously and in tandem. As for the special discretization, you can see that for different parameters, different methods have been defined. Uh, now, these methods are the method used to discretize these parameters and equation in order to numerically solve the, them. After double clicking on the initialization button, a new window will appear showing you different methods of initialization, hybrid and standard. Now in the standard initialization method, you get to choose the first amounts and values for the first iteration of the simulation progress. These values refer to the values used in the first iteration of the simulation progress and if you choose the values for each parameter wisely, your simulation progress will finish sooner. It should be mentioned that you can also choose the first values and in, or the initial values by just clicking on the compute from drop down list and clicking on one boundary. For example, by clicking on compute from all zones, the software will automatically average the values in different zones and boundaries and put those values in the initial values for the software. Now in this part, in order to extract 2D and 3D contours, we use CFD POST software. Now in this uh, velocity contour, you can easily see the velocity distribution of air flow, uh, and you can easily see how the air has entered the computational domain uh, from the lower inlet part. Now in this contour, which is the water volume fraction contour, you can see uh, how the water has entered the computational domain and has accumulated on the tray. And you can see how the water has flowed downward through the holes on the tray. Now in this contour, which is the water volume fraction contour, you can see uh, how the water has entered the computational domain and has accumulated on the tray. And you can see how the water has flowed downward through the holes on the tray. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. The present problem simulates two phase flow of air and water in a distillation column tray using ANSYS Fluent software. In tray towers, the process of separating the material takes place. The operation of tray distillation tower is such that hot and rising steam enters the chamber from the lower part of the chamber through several small holes and moves upward. Simultaneously, a liquid stream enters the chamber from the upper part of the chamber through a large hole and falls to the bottom. As a result, this liquid flow and air vapor collide on one or more trays inside the chamber. 
This contact, on the other hand, causes the temperature of the descending liquid to rise, and as a result, a part of liquid particles, which are light and have low boiling point, turn into steam sooner. On the other hand, it reduces the rising steam temperature, and as a result, distills part of the steam. This operation causes the vapor from the evaporation of the liquid to be rich in volatile elements. Also, the liquid is left with heavier particles and accumulates, which gradually increase their boiling point. Of course, the higher the level of contact created in trade between the liquid and gas phases, the higher the separation operation. This present work merely simulates the fluid of two-phase model and investigates the behavior of liquid and gas phases in relation to each other at the tray location. Thus, this work does not simulate heat transfer and the process of evaporation and installation. The present three-dimension model is designed using design modeler software. The geometry of the model includes a chamber with a tray distillation tower. Due to the fact that the present model has a symmetrical structure, half of the chamber has been modeled to prevent the increase of the computational process. The upper part of the design chamber consists of a semicircular surface with a radius of almost 0.6 meter, which has a height of 1.22 meter, and is located on the lower part of the chamber with a height of 0.61 meter. Inside the upper part of the chamber, an airflow inlet plate consisting of five small circular vents with 0.02 cm in diameter, an airflow outlet plate consisting of same five vents, and a center plate called a tray as the liquid flow contact point. And the gas consists of the same five holes and is designed next to the water inlet flow hole. The distance of this tray from its upper and lower plate is equal to 0.61 meter. The meshing of the present model has been done using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type is a structure. The element number is 1,586,016. To benefit from Mester CFD services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com